Hi, I'm Shelly Young, the owner of The Chopping Block, and today I'm going to teach you how to make blueberry jam. We really just need three ingredients. I've got blueberries, four cups. I've got sugar, four cups. And one package of Sure Gel pectin. The pectin will be what thickens the jam, so it's an important ingredient. And it's activated by the sugar, so we do need to put the sugar uh, ratios to the blueberries exactly as the package says. When you open a package of Sure Gel, there's all kinds of recipes in there. So if you want to make strawberry jam or peach jam, any other kind of fruit jam, the recipes and ratios are here. The te technique that I'm showing you today can be used for any of those jams. So the first step with our fruit is to smash it just a little bit. So I'm going to take a potato masher and do this. You may want to wear an apron because this could make a mess. So you'll see I've mashed the blueberries up. They're still nice and chunky. That's really the difference between a jam and a jelly. The jams are a little easier to make because they're just mashed fruit with little bits of fruit throughout. We're going to add our package of pectin. Then we're going to take this to the stove and bring it to a boil. Blueberries and pectin are cooking now. I put them on the stove. What we want to happen is we want to bring them to a full rolling boil. Then we'll add our sugar. We're going to add our four cups of sugar. So I've added the four cups of sugar. We want to bring the jam back to a full rolling boil for one minute. So my jars are prepared by simply washing them with soap and water and then putting them in the oven at 200 degrees. That sanitizes the jar and allows the jars to be perfectly hot and ready whenever you are with your jam. You prepare your jars in the oven, it also eliminates the need for a big processing pot for canning. What we're going to do is take the very hot jam and the very hot jar and fill them. So I've got a ladle here. I'm going to simply pour jam into the jar. We're going to take our hot lid and put that on and seal it tightly. So we've put our jam in the jars. What we're going to do next is let that sit at room temperature until I hear it seal. Uh, how you'll know is the jars will actually start popping and you will be able to push down on the top of this jar and the lid does not move up and down. It will not spring up and down. It's pushed down and compressed. That's how you know that the jar is sealed. If the jar didn't seal, it's okay. The jam is still fine. That will need to go in the refrigerator. You can see I had a little bit extra here. I'll just put this in the refrigerator and it's ready to eat right now. The jam is ready to eat as soon as it's cool. If it's sealed properly, put it uh, in the pantry and you can have it for a year. And uh, if it's in the refrigerator, it's going to last about a month. It has a high sugar ratio, so it lasts quite a long time in the refrigerator. And it's ready to use for your toast, on your cakes, or however you like to enjoy your jam. That's how you make blueberry jam. 